Hey guys, welcome to another Gadgets and Facts video. Today we are going to discover why some of the ceiling fans in the United States and the Canada are having four, five, even six blades, but in India or all the South Asian countries, these are having only three blades. So, before starting up the discussion, first we need to understand what's the purpose of having a ceiling fan. Let's check it out. The first clear one common means conception about ceiling fans. Ceiling fans in contrast to air conditioners do not lower the air temperature or air humi humidity in our rooms. Ceiling fans cools us but they do this only by air increasing movement or air flow in the room. With increased air movement our body sweat evaporates easier and our sweat evaporates it takes away some of our body heat thus cooling us and gives us a feeling of satisfaction that's it so now as you know what's the purpose and how ceiling fan check what's the ideal material for a ceiling fan as you can see in the diagram or the chart that i am showing on the screen so the, as we move farther from the dist, uh, from the center of the blades so the air flow or the air velocity decreases as you can see Fan 3 made of steel gives the best performance whereas the uh, fan made of wooden or wood gives the worst performance. This is why when we stand directly under the ceiling fan center we would feel little air movement but shift slightly to the left or the right and the air flow suddenly picks up. Particularly if we stand at a distance of about midway between the fan center and the fan blade tip where airflow here is the high. We now know the uh, steel made fan are the best one for our purpose. So now the question comes does the blade characteristic really matter? Fan blade size and the number of fan blades do matter. The bigger that is wider or longer the fan blade the more, more airflow the blade is able to generate. Likewise, having more blades moving through the air would generate more air flow too. Cons consequently, there is a trade-off between the blade size and the number of blades to have in a ceiling fan. Having fewer blades or smaller number of blades may reduce drag but may also generate little air flow. But increasing the blade size or fitting more blades to a fan may not necessarily generate more air flow because of the larger drag from the air. This increase in drag would also mean a more powerful and presumably a more energy hungry and noisier fan motor is required which will add up to your electricity bill. Having more blades also adds weight to the ceiling fan and again a more powerful fan motor is also required for that. Okay, so now the question appears what, how the ceiling fan efficiency and the power consumption is measured. So the two most important information we need are the amount of air movement generated rep that is represented by the unit cubic feet per minute or simply a CFM and the power consumption of watts by a ceiling fan. On average a ceiling fan has an air flow generation of about 5500 CFM and consumes about 70 watt. Dividing the air flow generation by the power consumption gives the ceiling fan's efficiency. In this case, the average ceiling fan efficiency is around uh, 5500 CFM divided by 70 watt or about 79 CFM per watt. So which ceiling fan to choose? That's the biggest question. Which is the most efficient ceiling fan now? So a good ceiling fan is typically those that can move 6000 CFM or more air not less than that have have a power consumption of about 30 watt or less and have a fan efficiency of 200 cfm per watt or more so now the big question appears that's there in the title of the video why in us and canada four blade five blade or even six blade ceiling fan are used and whereas in india and most of the south asian countries only three blade ceiling fan is used so the reason is in US and Canada the primary requirement for the ceiling fan is to supplement the air conditioner in summer. 
In winter, many of these fans with a reverse switch can be flipped to turn the direction of the rotation so that it will draw cold air from below, so warm air from the heater, usually located along the walls close to the floor or with the vents on the floor, can fill the room underneath the fans. So the ceiling fan keeps a gentle air circulation in the room. Also keep in mind the height of ceiling and hence volume of the room are quite low in US or Canadian, Canadian homes. 8 feet generally 8 feet high compared to 10 to 12 feet height in South Asia. So typical North American fan has uh, at least 4 blades. Now let let me go to Indian version of the same thing. The Indian fans have about 5 to 6 speed settings and are not designed to run in reverse direction and seldom double up as a light fixtures. In most of the US ceiling fans you can see it, uh, there is a light at the bottom of the ceiling fan so it can be used as that purpose also. In India the ceiling fan is used primarily as a standalone appliances that does not change the actual temperature of the room but produces a perceived cooling effect by forced convection of the air in the room. Some of the countries you have more than four, three blades and most of the countries you have only three blades. I hope it is clear. So guys, I hope you have liked the video. If you did, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel so that you can automatically get notified as soon as I upload a new stuff. I can assure you, you will not be disappointed with the content of this channel. Please let me know what you think about this video in the comment section. See you till then. See you in my next video. Bye bye.